Hi everybody, thank you so much for coming back to my channel. My name is M, and this is Stylishly. If you have followed me for a little while, you will know that I'm about to embark on a very exciting adventure called the Camino Francis. This is a route that goes across Spain, across the Pyrenees to Santiago, which takes place over 800 kilometers. I'm planning to do that in about 30 to 40 days, depending on how I go. And I think for me, the backpack and what's in my, of that backpack is very important. So without further ado, I'm gonna show you. And please, as usual, just let me know if I've overpacked, if there's anything else I need to be considering, uh, I would appreciate it. All right, let's do this. Okay, guys, this is kind of the bird's eye view of what my final kit is gonna look like. Let's start with the Osprey Tempest 30 liter. I've decided to use this bag and not the Mac pack because it's got a better back system. Um, I think 30 liters actually is still a little bit too big, but anyways, got it now. Um, on that backpack, I've got a couple of carabiners, um, which would be very helpful to attach stuff like um, my clothing when I want to dry it. Then I'm going to hang, you know, a little sweat rag here too. Um, in that bag, I will have my water system, which are basically going to be about a litre, a litre and a half of water at any time. Uh, I'm just going to support local businesses by sometimes buying water, but then recycling and filling it on water fountains along the way. I believe that there are water points, um, but yes, dehydration is not going to be very pleasant. So I need to think more about whether that's enough. I've got my bum bag there. In that bum bag is a lip balm, my passport, a mask, a pen and tissue. Also some wet wipes, which is not, um, I'm not showing here. Uh, then I've got some sort of plastic bags in case, you know, I need to do number two <laughs> along the path. Sorry to talk about that, but that is actually a reality because you're walking long stretches without facilities. Um, then I've got um, a hat. I've decided to not take my beanie, although I love a beanie. That's going to be my my hat to um, for the trip. Um, there's hydro lights as well that I'm bringing. Um, they're heavy, but I think I'll just bring like maybe 20 days worth. And that's going to help me with um, hydration too, because you can't get these in Spain, apparently. You don't need it, but you know, maybe it's just for emergencies. Hand sanitizer. Then in my toiletry bag, I've got a, a very small toothbrush, which I've snapped off. I think I might put it back on, I'm not too sure. Um, toothpaste, um, moisturizer, which I can also use for, for body. I've got uh, floss, of course, the very important sunscreen. Um, this is, um, of course, deodorant, which apparently I can use on my feet to sort of mimic body glide. Um, for going out at night, I've just got no makeup really, but just an eyeliner and, and um, a, a lip gloss. Um, that's a Vaseline that's colored. Um, then I think this is going to be something that I need to get, which is lavender spray. So then I can try and keep the bed bugs away. I don't know. Of course, the important nail clipper. I've got some hotel stuff, which is a needle and thread in case I get blisters and some nail file and a couple of items just as emergency, really. Um, a couple of sachets of Aesop conditioner because my hair is unruly. For my blister uh, uh, management, I've got lamb's wool, band-aid, some tape and then some scissors um, with the rounded ends um, to to help cut that. Then I've got some um, Panadol, um, Ibuprofen, Imodium, Voltaren in case I get muscle aches and then some just one eye drop. Again, weight is really crucial. So just bringing these to tie me over into a, ph a pharmacy if I really need them. Um, when I do laundry, um, these are gonna be what's gonna hang my clothes uh, and of course, um, some hair bands because I like to tie up my hair. Talking about laundry, have I talked about my laundry powder? Um, it's a bit heavy, it's a bit suspicious, doesn't it? But that is powder, laundry powder. Um, and that's how I'm gonna wash my underwear and um, as I need my other clothes. Towel, um, a S hook because bathrooms are terrible in terms of hooks over there. A little shopping bag um, and also to bring things into the bathroom. I'm doing it's just a tea, tea tree soap um, that's going to basically do everything for me. Um, I've kind of cut it in half and it's breaking up but this is going to go inside this uh, bag. Um, it's a really good bag to hold soap so it won't get slimy. Uh, I think I've talked about all of that. Then I've got a spork because you know you might want to take away some food one day. My reading glasses, 
Um, I've got three dry bags that you see there, yellow, orange, and green to hold all of my gear. I'm not bringing any rain cover except for those. Um, I'm gonna be bringing a, a very lightweight poncho. Then I've got my real rain system, which is my North Face jacket, which um, my friend lent me. That's gonna be my main water um, management system, I guess. In terms of clothing, I'm going to have two sets of clothes, maybe three. But um, so this is um, a very lightweight, um, uh, we call it tracksuit bottom, um, which is great for after the walk. I've got my hiking shorts. I'm going to be hiking. I'm going to hike in shorts, long sleeve merino wool top, uh, a short sleeve merino wool top, uh, a mid base layer with a, a hoodie that's going to help me protect the sun as well as the hat. I've got two bras and three underpants. This is my rock, um, a comb, three pairs of socks, toe socks, and then one for at night time. Um, sunnies, an emergency um, bar in case I can't find food in a hurry. And for sleeping, I'm just gonna use this Cedar Summit sleep sack, or it's not a sleeping bag, but just a liner, earplugs, um, gloves in case it gets cold, cause you know, head, top, feet, and hands other key things to keep warm and I'm a bit afraid of getting cold so this might not be enough so I just bought like you know some tights in case I need it at night time but yeah so basically um, that's it also too I'm bringing my European charger it's got that kind of system the iPhone cable um, obviously um, headphones and these are the shoes I'm gonna walk with my shower shoes and my town shoes and a little plasticky thing to hold my Compostela because I do intend to finish. Have I talked about everything? I think so. Yeah. Okay. So in terms of my town, going to town, I'm just going to wear this green dress, but I might just bring, I don't know, something else. But again, weight is a real concern for me. I'm not a very big person. I can't carry too much. Uh, I've got a couple of old injuries that I'm trying not to inflame. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Guys, please tell me if I have overpacked, have I packed enough? And um, I'd appreciate any comment. Anyways, if you see me on the path, I'll be over there going from SJPP to Santiago across all of September. So if you see me, shout out and um, please say hello. Wishing you a buen camino. Thanks for checking in and I'll talk to you in my next video. Oh, by the way, I do have a buy me a coffee account in case you want to support me, but it's, there's no obligation and I will be vlogging hopefully along the way. So that ends my video. Um, please like and subscribe. Uh, I've just did a measure on the scale, which is pathetic, but it's actually about 4.5 without water. So let's see if I can sustain that. That's before food as well. Okay, see you soon.